So this is unit seven, sample problems three, light waves and the energy you find in light waves. So let's look at the first problem. Oh, let's remember the equations that you're going to use for this, right? So we're using the um, wave equation, right? Which is usually V equals lambda F, um, but we can transform that into C equals lambda F because C is the speed of light because we're doing light waves this time. And then we can also look at the energy. And so we're going to use this equation. And then the energy is equal to HF. And both the values of C and H are given on the paper. Um, e stands for energy. C, C stands for the speed of light. Okay. So red light has a wavelength of 7.2 nanometers, where nano is 10 to the negative ninth. What is the frequency of this red light? So I've given and lambda equals 720 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. And of course, we know C is 3 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And our unknown is frequency, so we're trying to find F. So my equation is C equals lambda F. So I have to get F by itself, so I divide both sides by lambda. So I end up with F is equal to C over lambda. So then I plug it in. So F is equal to three times. So the best thing is in your calculator, divide it by 720 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. If you have a scientific calculator, always best to plug it in that way. So you would type in three E E eight and then divide it by 720 EE negative 9. So that's the easiest way to do it. You can plug it in with parentheses and all that crazy stuff, but if you can have that EE button or EXP button, that is the best thing to do. And then we can see that meters crosses off with meters. The second comes to the bottom, and when we plug it into our calculator, we end up with 42 times 10 to the 14th. One over seconds is the same as a hertz. All right. So you can see that it has a very small wavelength and a very big frequency because they're inversely related. Next. Then it was over here where it was really, really tiny because that's a light wave as opposed a radio station broadcasts at a frequency of 106 megahertz, where a mega is 10 to the 6. What are the wavelengths of these waves? So um, maybe listen to your favorite station. Is it 106? Um, anyways, that's what that stands for, is what the frequency is. So in my given, I'm going to have F is equal to 106 times 10 to the 6 hertz because right, I can't do it in megahertz, and of course C, because all waves, even the radio waves, are not sound waves, they are electromagnetic waves, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, and my unknown is lambda, that funny looking symbol we've talked about, and so the equation is C equals lambda F, but this time I need to solve for lambda, so I divide both sides by F, and so I'm left with lambda equals C over F. So when I plug it in, lambda equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, all over 106 times 10 to the 6 hertz. Weird units this time, but remember, when you plug in your calculator, 3 EE or EXP 8 divided by 106 EE or EXP 6 is the best. If you plugged it in correctly, it should come out to be 45.5, and then the units, well, a hertz is a 1 over a second, so that cancels out with that. You're left with a meter, so it's 45.5 meters. Notice the wavelength here, right, is 
much, 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 much larger to a radio wave, right? And so it's a huge difference in the size of the um, wavelength. All right. A photon of UV, so UV should have even smaller wavelengths than visible, right? Because we're moving up the spectrum. Um, and it has a frequency of 3 times 10 to the 15th hertz. So you can see that's much higher than our first one, which is 10 to the 14th hertz. Because, again, we're moving up the spectrum. But now we're looking at energy, and we know UV light is going to have a lot of energy. So let's do our given. So given we have F is equal to 3 times 10 to the 15th hertz. And this time we don't need C. I mean, I could put it in. It does travel at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. But what I really need, because I'm dealing with energy, is I need Planck's constant, which is H, which is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th joule second. My unknown is E. And so the equation is E equals hf. Cool, it's already solved. E equals hf. So then I can plug it in and e is equal to 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds times 3 times 10 to the 15th hertz. I know that a hertz is the same as 1 over seconds. So the hertz Second, sorry. Second cancels off with the hertz. So I'm going to be left with joules, which is good. And then I need, and there's a dot there, right? That's a 6.6. .6. And so then my um, answer, I plug in my calculator, 6.6 .6 EE 34 negative, or negative 34, depending on your calculator. So 6.6 .6 EE EXP, depends on your calculator, negative uh, 34 times 3 EE 15. If I plugged it in correctly, I should get 1.98, that's a point, 1.98 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of energy because it's 10, but that's one little photon, right? One little bundle of light and it has 1.98 times 10 to the negative, ni negative 18th uh, joules. So, um, still a lot. All right, last one. A photon of microwave light, so this should have less energy. So we can see this one's negative 21st, so that is a lot less than negative 18. Um, what is its frequency? All right, so in my given, we have E, which is 1.98 point, times 10 to the negative 21st. That's a negative. 21st joules, and then of course we still have H because we're dealing with energy, which is 6.6 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. It's not joules per second, right? It's joule seconds. Um, the unknown this time is frequency. The equation's the same equation. E equals H. F, I need to solve for F, so I divide both sides by H. So my solved equation is F, right, so it's left, is equal to E over H. Then I plug it in, so F is equal to 1.98 times 10 to the negative 21st joules divided by 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th, 34th joule seconds. So we can see that the joules cancel out. You're left with one over seconds, right? One over seconds, which is a hertz, which is good. I plug in my calculator, 1.98 EE or EXP, 21 negative, divided by 6.6. .6. EE or EXP, 34 negative or negative 34, depending on your calculator, equals, and if you did it right, it should come out to be 3 times 10 to the 12th hertz. We're done. Okay, the rest are on your own.